Mobile Laser is a new extension to our QuickShow and Beyond software, allowing for common points of contact within the software to be controlled via an iOS or Android device. The app can be downloaded from either system's app store. Mobile Laser works over the same network your software is on. This would normally be achieved by having a wireless access point within your show network. This could also be achieved by utilizing a hotspot on either your phone or laptop, which may be easier, and will isolate your Mobile Laser communication from your show network. While Mobile Laser is available for both QS and Beyond, some functionality is exclusive to Beyond. A full list is on screen now, and it can also be found at the wiki. It is expected more functionality will be added over the years, so be sure to check the wiki for new features. First, let's get connected. Ensure both devices, your software and your mobile app, are on the same network. Generally, all you need to do is open the mobile app, which starts in the connection screen. If you see your device, just click on it to connect. If you don't see the device, you can also utilize the Mobile Laser QR Connect under Settings. On the app, click the bottom left button to scan the QR code. If neither of these options work, then the devices are not on the same network or they just can't be seen by each other on the network. Once connected, you'll be able to see and access all the available tools. On the main screen, you'll have the grid. As with most of these pages, you'll have access to a blackout and enable and disable laser output button. On the top right, you'll see the connection status. The grid can be scrolled up and down, and you can select cues just by tapping. To change pages of the grid, you just click on this button and select your page. On the bottom center, you have a button which allows for access of the Live Control tab of your software. The left and right buttons allow you to look at the computers you can connect to and back to the grid. To change tools, click the three bar button on the top left. Quick Text allows you to output text you type from your mobile device. Just type the text, Show it now, and you can change its text size, its scroll speed, as well as color. Logs allow you to see the control logs and notifications from your application. Lock screen allows you to lock and unlock your Beyond app if you have the lock screen enabled in the software. Sensors allows for use of your phone's sensors to be imported into Beyond as external inputs for control. Click Start to initiate sending of the data. They will be accessible as external inputs wherever you may use those in the software. This also includes four buttons you can use as momentary buttons for controls the same way. Geometric correction allows you to access the geometric correction of all your zones within the app. First you have the UGC, and you can control all the individual geometric correction tools. To change zones, you can select them from this dropdown. To reset values, click the button you see on the top right. You can also change from UGC to mesh with this button. To modify meshes, you must select the points you want to modify first, then utilize the sliders below to shift the point around to move other points. Select other points. Under FP4 controllers, you can see the connected hardware on your computer, including all details about these controllers, in the same way you might see them listed in the FP4 settings window of your software. Timecode allows you to see the current timecode values and PC time within your software. Pangolin Products allows you to browse our website for more information and documentation. The Pangolin Wiki brings you directly to the Pangolin Wiki, a great and quick way to reference support materials directly within the app ecosystem. Information gives you info about your connection to the software, as well as information about mobile laser and build versions of the software. Thanks for watching this quick hints video on the new mobile laser app for QuickShow and beyond. We suspect lots of additions will come for the mobile laser platform, so be sure to check the wiki at wiki.pangolin.com, and if you still need help, email support at pangolin.com, and we'll get back to you as soon as we can.